All right, y'all, what's going on? It's Combo Breaker 99. I am back with another video. All right, y'all, y'all know I knew about this one. I knew about this fight. Just been busy again. I was getting around to making this video, but yeah, man, it's going down. It is going down August 5th, UFC Fight Night. That's right. I think they saw the match making Monday. Verna Genderoba versus Tatiana Suarez. Told you, man, I've been talking these matchups lately, man. These matchups that just make sense and they're fights that fans want to see. Verna Genderoba taking on Tatiana Suarez is a big fight. This is a big fight. This is the reintroducing of Tatiana Suarez to the strawweight division after her flyweight return against Montana De La Rosa, which was easy work. That was easy work for Tatiana Suarez. So she said, you know what? I want to continue my journey, my path where I left off at at 115 and move back down and take on the toughest competition that you got. As y'all know, Verna Genderoba, she's got two wins in a row. Her most recent victory against Marina Rodriguez. Before that, it was Angela Hill. Both dominant, dominant decision wins for her. But even in her losses along the way, you've seen some improvements in Verna Genderoba. Um, not just, you know, her uh, wrestling, but also her physical strength, her clinch control, and her striking. And that's one of the reasons I said, you know what, this is going to be a good test for Tatiana Suarez to really see where she where she's at. The uh, Montana De La Rosa fight, that was kind of just like a, a a fight for her to shake off the rust because she's been gone for three years. You know, it was kind of a soft touch, you know, just gradually move down in weight, gra gradually, you know, get back into the, uh, you know, into the weight cutting process, do 125. And then once you feel comfortable with that, you know, go ahead and move back down to 115. Right. And that's what she's doing. You know, now that she now that she's ranked at 115, you know, she's ready to take on a tough test in uh, Vernon Genderoba. Um. So, yeah, like I said, Tatiana Suarez bounced back with her finished win over Montana De La Rosa. Um, before that, you know, it's been like almost three to four years since we've seen her. So, you know, there's still a lot of questions about what she can do now, even at straw weight. You know, making the weight, that's that's the first part. That's the first part. We want to make sure that she looks good and that she's not drained and she's not weak in there, right? But we also want to see how far she's come along as far as her speed at this weight, you know, the cardio, um, her striking as well. Because we do know that Verna Genderoba, she has been improving in her stand-up game. You know, I like her approach, you know, when it comes down to her um, her stance, you know, her form, how she can bounce off the balls of her feet. Like I mentioned before, you know, she'll kind of set up her takedowns with a jab or sometimes, you know, she'll kind of just rush in once she has that uh, full-on pressure on you. But a fighter like Tatiana Suarez, that's not one you can just rush in on, you know. So we're going to have wrestler versus jiu-jitsu practitioner in this fight. But we also have Verna Genderoba, like I said, improving in her striking game. And she's been using it along the way a little bit more than Tatiana Suarez. You know, so that's 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 where the questions are going to come in. Is Tatiana going to be able to make those adjustments? Is she going to be able to slip some of these strikes, use her defense on her feet? Is she going to be able to counter punch with Verna Genderoba? That's what that's what we need to know, because like I said, even in the Mackenzie Dern fight with uh, Verna Genderoba. I thought that Verna done enough to win that fight. You know, I thought she was doing um, a good job of landing more um, effective strikes. Uh, you know, she was able to land her right hand and drop Amanda Ebos. You know, so throughout these fights that she's lost, you saw those improvements. And Kanako Murata, you know, that was another wrestler that she took on. You know, the wrestler that got a little bit reckless in there with her that she broke her arm. You know, but we know Suarez is much bigger. You know, she, she's much more polished and seasoned wrestler than, than Kanako Murata. So once it goes to the ground, I think that, you know, Suarez, her physical control and, you know, just her overall uh, ability to get top position and keep it, you know, I think, and, and just, just how she can wear on you. I think that's going to be a big part of how she controls this fight. You know, I, I don't think she'll really get pieced up by Verna Genero because I think Verna Genero, she can get drawn into these, these clinch matches and want to, get taken down every now and then to just kind of showcase her ground game. So I think a fighter like uh, Tatiana Suarez can do what Carla did, but do it in a much clearer fashion. Because Carla, she actually actually did pretty well on the ground. You know, she was never really like in full on trouble of getting submitted by uh, Verna Genderoba. And that's the good thing about, you know, like Verna, uh, the good thing about Carla's IQ and like Tatiana's IQ, you know, they're, they're wrestlers, but they still have that, that grappling IQ of, avoiding traps and, you know, keeping their neck safe and, you know, being able to uh, slide out of certain submission positions. So I don't think we'll see like 
Tatiana get too reckless in there where she gets locked up. Uh, but you never know. Like, if you let Verna get the back and she's getting stronger too, you just never know. Like, so strength for strength, we'll see how they match up. I would still favor Suarez levels above as far as physical strength. But like I said, you never know. As far as the striking improvements that we've been seeing, I think Verna has the edge right now. But uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a good fight. I think it's going to be a good fight. This is the fight that we need to see Suarez in just to see if she still has it at 115, which I, I think she does. I think she does. You know, she's a competitive fighter. She has that spirit. Uh, Verna, she's just not one to sleep on. You know, um, Verna, I think she has a little bit of trouble against some of these fighters that uh, know how to level up, but she's slowly getting there. So we just never know what can happen. I still favor Suarez, but this being MMA, I can keep my mind open to this. That's why I just, that's why I need to see this fight. When I, when I have trouble picking a winner, that means it's going to be a good fight. All right. I want to see fights where I can't predict a winner, just like this Wei Li Lamos fight coming up. I know everybody's favoring Wei Li, but understand Lamos has a good chance. And that's why I want to see that fight. And I want to see this one here. So yeah, man, once again, we got a matchmaking Monday coming true. Let me go ahead and post this other matchmaking Monday fight on my community page here real quick. Y'all know what it is. Combo Breaker 99. I'm out. Subscribe. Peace.